What's up everyone? I'm going to go over my design for a power supply station, I guess you can call it. Basically, I wanted it something that I could plug directly into solar panels and charge either my phone or my laptop, which is 12 volts. And so what I designed, this is uh, version 1.0. I have version 1.1 printing right now. Um, but the electronics are going to be in the same exact spot, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with the wiring, and that way, once it's done printing, you'll see a nice smoother, I, I smoothed up the edges and kind of cleaned up in here a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, so basically what this is going to do is I can input about anywhere from uh, 13 volts to 30 volts into this it's going to go into this power supply or this uh, voltage regulator right here and it's going to go down it's going to take that voltage and it's going to drop it down to 12 volts and I, i'll probably set it to 12.5 volts but I'll, I'll drop it down to 12.5 volts and this will be 12 volt output right here at the same time it's going to go to this module right here which this module is a USB charger. So I can charge my phone, I can charge whatever. And uh, this is actually a nice, nice little charger. I tested it. I'm not getting the full two amps out of it when I tested it. So I think they're a little bit lying. So one of the ports, this port right here is supposed to be two amps. You can draw up to two amps out of this one and you could draw up to one amp on this port right here. Um, this port, I wasn't getting the full two amps when I tested it, but it's enough to charge my phone while I'm watching videos or doing whatever. So uh, it works. And so yeah, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is get started on this wiring. And I'm going to actually set the voltage to 12.5 on this module right here. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this up for testing and to adjust the uh, voltage regulator on this thing. So here I'm using what's called ferro connectors. And this is ferro crimpers. And basically you put the right gauge wire that you're using, put it in these ferro connectors, crimp it, and then I'm gonna cut one of the squares, one, uh, one of the squares on top. Like that. And then I am going to go ahead and place it in to make sure that I'm going into the output negative side, which is right here. It fits in, tightens down like that, and that's what it should look like. And then the same thing with the red wire. I have my little regulator hooked up. So right here is the place to adjust the voltage and we're going to go ahead and adjust the voltage. I have my meter hooked up to these two prongs and again I'm going to adjust it to 12.5. I have my power supply set to 15 volts. It doesn't matter what it's set up to as long as it's one volt higher than what I'm going to be setting to. So I'm going to go ahead get this screwdriver in there and we're going to go clockwise there we go 12.5 right there and so I could take my power supply and I can move it up as long as it's within 30 volts this should not move unless I go and I'm going to drop it below 12.5 and then you'll see it drop. 
but now I'm above 12 point or I'm about 13 volts right now and I'm reading 12.51 so this is a great way to regulate voltage from basically anywhere higher than 13.5 to uh, 30 volts so my goal is to be able to plug in to solar panels which is 15 volts or an RC battery or car battery or whatever and still be able to get a 12 volt output and this is up to 10 amps this is can regulate up to 10 amps will I be using 10 amps no I, I probably will never use 10 amps out of this but I'm gonna put a fuse for 10 amps we'll go from there let's go ahead and get started with the wiring now So this is the inside and basically how I wired it, I used 16 gauge wire, um, it's a bit overkill honestly. For how short this wire is, you could probably go a lot lower and I will not ever probably draw, well I won't ever draw the full 10 amps that this uh, module can produce. So yeah, it's a bit overkill, I, I, if I were to do it again I'd probably use maybe 20 gauge maybe 18 gauge wire uh, it would allow more room and everything like that but everything is screwed in nice and tight I have a 10 10 amp fuse right here and it's locked in all the black parts were printed on my uh, Creality Ender 3 this was printed on Creality CR10 the, the, the box and basically this is just adding friction to these XT connectors right here so then they're nice and strong and I also did a little dab of super glue on the bottom of them just to make them hold even better and it works very well if I use smaller wire my wire management probably would have been a little bit better but it works and then right here is the uh, meter and I have it going into the input area so I can see how many volts is coming into the system so I can keep track of that and how that is powered is I have the 12 volt out right here is powering this module right here and then the white wire is for the actual meter and I have it going just into here so basically I could just see what the input volts is so and then closes like this everything is solid everything has a place in there I was trying to figure out ways to make this uh, box smaller but with all the wiring and all that kind of stuff I think this is about as small as I can make it all right so here I have a hundred watt solar panel I actually have one that's a little bit smaller like a 60 watt one that would do this run this test just fine so over here I have my phone charging and my laptop uh, charging and I'm well I'm running stress tests on them so I'm taking as much of the amps as I possibly can so here I have 19.7 volts which is a lot from the solar panel going in I've actually never seen 19 volts go in. It's usually like 15.6, 15.7, but that's nice. Uh, my amp draw is fluctuating between 0.1 to 0.3 amps from the solar panel. So here we are. It's reading about 4.98 volts coming out of it and 0.6 to 0.7 amps going into the phone. My phone's already at 70%, so it's probably not gonna draw the full amount. That is one of the main purposes of why I built this little power station. Another use for it is, is when I'm not at home, I'm out maybe flying my planes or doing something where I'm not home and I don't have AC power, uh, I can, 
plug in one of my RC batteries and so I'm plugged in my RC battery right here and we're reading 15.7 volts and I'm charging both my phone and laptop right now all right so yeah I'm putting about four point yeah putting about five volts into my phone at 0.8 amps so I'm charging both my phone and laptop and this is what I wanted this for so this is serving its purpose right now and I was able to make this for about under 25 bucks I could take this anywhere I could use just your regular RC battery I can use a 4s or a 4s battery is probably be better but I can also use a 3s battery and still be able to output 12 volts and also charge my phone all right so that concludes this video and if you guys have any questions please ask and as always thank you guys for your support and thank you for watching